House Republicans pushing along a new energy agenda for more. Let's bring in Washington Representative Kathy McMorris Rogers. She is chair of the House Energy and Commerce Committee. This month, uh, she introduced two bills, one that would place uh, limits on drawdowns of the Strategic Petroleum Reserve, which we talked about at length earlier on the show, and another that prohibits oil sales from the SPR to China. Uh, and thanks for joining us. Uh, we used to call uh, Sheila Bear Chair Bear, which sounds like, uh, uh, right? Care Bear. It sounds like Care Bear, but Chair Rogers, you prefer, so I'm going gonna, I'm gonna to use that, Chair Rogers. Welcome to the show. Thanks for, uh, for joining us this morning. The, the complaint we're getting is It's great is to be with you. Thanks. Good to be with you. The complaint that we're hearing from uh, Amos Hochstein and others, Jennifer Granholm, is that it, it sort of handcuffs uh, an administration's ability to react uh, to emergencies. And uh, I'm sure you, you disagree with that. I do disagree. I, uh, unfortunately, the, the secretary of the administration have been misrepresenting the bill. The bill only uh, addresses non-emergency use. But this goes back fundamentally to the importance of American energy security. It's our economic security. It's our national security. And this, the, the legislation that we, we passed uh, in the House already in this second bill is, is related to the Strategic Petroleum Reserve. This is a critical asset. It's a national security asset. It's, a, it's an economic asset for emergency uses. And unfortunately, the administration, uh, especially leading up to the election, uh, depleted our reserve for political purposes. And I believe it is important that they are transparent and we are holding them accountable for that. So we passed the first bill that would prohibit any sales from the Strategic Petroleum Reserve from going to China. And we gained over 100 Democrats. It was the largest bipartisan vote on an energy bill in years. And I urge the Senate to take, uh, take action on that. This, sick, this second bill requires the administration, when they, when they deplete it, when they sell these reserves, that they would have to develop a plan for domestic production to offset what they are selling from the strategic reserve. And it only applies for the non-emergency situations. We, we've actually posed those questions to the, the administration's uh, energy uh, representative. He, he's, uh, it was his contention that the uh, invasion of, of Ukraine constituted an emergency and, and that we had oil uh, go to $120 a barrel. And that's, in his view, what the SPR was uh, created for, to bring relief. And he points out uh, that it, it worked. Oil and gas prices came down for American consumers uh, to much uh, lower levels. And the, uh, even the energy crisis in Europe, at least at this point, hasn't been nearly as, as uh, damaging as predictions. Uh, well, I would, uh, I would point out that the, the administration br uh, used it for political purposes, unfortunately, bringing, bringing, depleting the, the oil reserve, the Strategic Petroleum Reserve, which is a critical asset. They brought it down. It's at the lowest levels in 40 years. We're down to 1983 levels. And now what we're seeing uh, since we're past the election is that prices are going back up. Uh, this was this was used for political purposes. Uh, this the, the emergency uses are more related to natural disasters than uh, for their own uh, their own political gain. And, and in the meantime, what we're seeing is China has has built up the largest uh, petroleum reserve now in the world. Uh, they have been buying a lot of. Uh, a lot of uh, this oil on the on the open market. So what what we'd like to see, what I, you know, what the Republicans and as chair of the committee, uh, we we are requiring the administration to come up with a plan. We saw this administration go ask OPEC, go ask Venezuela to produce more oil in order to um, uh, help their situation, uh, the the energy crisis that they had, uh, their policies had brought us to. So what we're asking is for them to come up with a plan to increase domestic oil production uh, in places like the, the Bakken or, you know, we have, we have tremendous resources in the United States of America. And uh, so the, what we're asking or requiring in this legislation is for them to come up with a plan. So if they reduce it mm -hmm. by 10%, then they have to increase domestic production by 10%.